It's a special series taking a closer look at women who are breaking barriers in all walks of life. And Jenna's got the first yeah. story. Good morning, y'all. Women make up 57% of the workforce, but just 5% of S&P 500 companies are led by a woman. I sat down with one of those powerhouses, Mary Barra, the first female CEO in the auto industry. When you change a tradition that's 175 years old, not everyone's going to love you. Once you break a barrier, I think that helps. Me being a woman is interesting but irrelevant. We want to be validated. We want to be understood. What is to be outstanding? Sometimes you're just going to have to stand out. The importance of being resilient. I'm Mary Barra, and I'm the first female chairman and CEO in the auto industry. In 2014, Mary Barra became the CEO of General Motors an icon of American industry with 225,000 employees and selling 10 million vehicles globally last year. I love cars, so I love the business. It's, it's kind of addicting. Barra's leadership was tested early in her tenure. During her first year as CEO, GM recalled 30 million cars worldwide. They caused 124 deaths. We failed these customers, and we must face up to it, and we must learn from it. Barra testified before Congress. GM paid $900 million in government fines. In 2009, before she became CEO, GM filed for bankruptcy. But under Barra, GM seems to be making a comeback with a net revenue of $166 billion last year. Did you always know you wanted to go into this work? Well, you know, I loved math and science. My love of math and science got me here. Barra grew up in Michigan. Her father was a dye maker at GM. And she began her career at GM in 1980, when she was just 18. You started here as an intern, and you've worked your way up. What have you learned along the way? Growing up at General Motors and, and progressing through to this position, it's all about people. From factory floor to industrial engineers, Barra's pushing for more women to be in leadership roles at GM. I've engaged the top 40 women in the company to specifically say, okay, what can we do to make sure we're building the pipeline of women? Farah is one of three female CEOs on President Trump's economic forum. How important is it for women to have a seat at that table? I think it's very important, and I think it's important for business leaders to come together and, and really provide input. This past January, after Barra was already named to the forum, GM made headlines when the president tweeted a threat, promising big border taxes if GM continued to make vehicles in Mexico. Have you changed the way you do business because of this administration? Right now, 70% of the vehicles we sell in the United States, we build here. We haven't changed anything, but we continue to look at ways we can improve that are going to help the country be stronger. Barra's mentor, her mother. When you started studying engineering, there weren't many women in the field. You're absolutely right. There weren't that many, many women studying it. Uh, but, you know, my mom just always said, you can be or do whatever you want to be, and but you got to work hard. And so I think when I looked around, I, you know, I, I didn't, it wasn't something where I said, I can't do this because I don't see other women. The 55-year-old mother of two is passionate about advancing STEM education for girls, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Education is one of my passions, and because STEM, I believe so strongly that no matter what industry you're in, technology is, is causing it to transform. As a woman, were there ever times you heard no's or felt like your voice wasn't heard? along this journey? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, there, there were times where, you know, I, and, I, and you know, there's times where you have to just go in and make sure you're heard. It's one of the things I also mentor young women. Be present at the table. Make sure your voice is heard. No matter what you choose to do in life, pursue it with passion and hard work. As a female first in the auto industry and with 37 years at GM, Barra hopes her career path encourages young women. What do you hope young women and girls watching get from your story? That they can do or be anything they want, but you know, they need to, they need to work hard. I encourage them, take those positions that give you a little bit of that, you know, feeling in your stomach of nervousness, because that's where you're gonna learn so much and it's gonna really help your career. She's so awesome. We are women hear us roar, right, Savannah? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.